This is Oxum Stadium in Eugene, Oregon, which becomes the site for this football contest. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Huskies, in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting, their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. Quick throw to the tight end. At the 30. And he's tackled at about the seven-yard line. Excellent execution on one side of the ball that time. And it looks to me like the defense was in a little state of confusion. Let's see if they can pull themselves together. There's a strike complete. A yard if they're lucky on that pass play. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end. So they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. They'll drop in for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Well, it's third and goal, and they're 10 yards out. in the open. Number four makes the reception. Gain of eight yards. That brings up fourth and goal. Washington could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he's taken down around the 42-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Game of five on the play. That makes it second and six. Got it to his man on the screen. Knocked out of bounds right around midfield. That's good for a gain of three yards. Third down. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. You know, the defense here had a chance to get a stop, and they gave up another first down to this offense. Again, when they get this offense into third down, it's about really stepping up and somebody making a play. That time, they were unable to do that. Passes it to the middle of the field. Tackle at the 43. Number 10 makes the tackle at the 43-yard line. That makes it second and six. Ball on the 43-yard line. And down he goes around the 33-yard line. 
what is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. He's at the 20. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Brought down at the 16-yard line. After positive yardage. That's a gain of five on the play. Tight right, tight right. That'll make it third and five. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Is out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle made right around the 10 yard line. A gain of one. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Oregon can tie it up here with this kick. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And he's immediately tackled. up second and one. Bring him down at the 46. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. Try and scramble. He's tackled at the 42. Makes the tackle. Nice play, baby. Call it a gain of 11 yards. First down. Four down, four down. Hey, look 48. Hey, come on, Mike, the 48. Hey, Texas. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Number 25 is the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Quick throw out to the receiver. He steps out at the 36-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and four. So at the end of one quarter, 3-3 three, three tie. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number four is the intended receiver on the play. 
And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Zips it to the back. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it first and ten. Slings it. And he's taken down at the 50. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Strike to the receiver, and they make the stop at the 33. He's got it with room to run. Tackle at about the 27 yard line. From the 27 yard line. It's first down. What a play, and that is first and goal. Move and he scores. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight play, 68 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback in the receiver. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. After decent pickup, that's a game of four on the play. That makes it second and six. He makes it to the 32 yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it third and three. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Gain of three yards. That makes it fourth and inches. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kurt, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. 
It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Oregon is up by a touchdown. He makes it to the 42-yard line. We've got a flag down on the field. Might have been offside. Defense. They got across the line a bit too soon. Give the quarterback some credit here for using his cadence to draw the defense off sides. First and five. Ball on the 37-yard line. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Caught with room to work. He's out of bounds at about the 35. Third down, and they're gonna need about three yards to pick up the first down. The Ducks saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it fourth and two. job here converting and keeping this defense on the field they're getting very tired from the 30 yard line first down Oregon is up seven fires out to his wideout and he's level at the 22 yard line Oregon's gonna have to use their second time out of the hat Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes at the 14-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. And a quick throw. Brought down around the seven-yard line. And he hits him hard at the six-yard line. Tackle made right around the four-yard line. to his receiver. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Boy, that's a big play and a big touchdown for the offense. But the one thing that that play requires is time. The quarterback had time to make a decision to eventually make that long throw for the touchdown. The defense has got to do a much better job of getting pressure on the quarterback and not allowing him to sit back there and make those throws. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Here's the give. He's got an opening. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Washington's going to take their first time out of the half. First down. From the 49-yard line. First down. 
So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He wants it all. This one will fall incomplete. Well, we've played a half of football. Oregon's lead is two touchdowns. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The pass rush of both teams has been totally negated in the first half. Neither team has been able to come up with a sack. So what's the D-line coach right now preaching to you guys up front, you big fellows who love to go there and make life miserable for a quarterback? But you got to watch the football and get off it as soon as you can and try to get that first step quickness because I know those guys are big and strong, but they're also a little bit chunky. And if you're on the defensive line and you're, you're a little bit slimmer and you get off the football a little bit faster, but try to get off that ball quick. And it's not just sacks, Reese. How about you affect the quarterback? How about you, you bull rush your guy and you put him in his lap and you make him throw over top or, you know, change the throwing angle so he doesn't have a clean pocket where he can step up in there and make big throws the whole game. You've got to do something, something different than you did the first half to affect the quarterback. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. Hey, stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. He's scrambling. They'll make the sack. Well, you can't blame the O-line when it's the cornerback who gets the sack. Yep, especially when it's a crafty veteran like this guy. He does a good job of not giving the blitz away before the snap. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Good outside run there. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Yard line with the return. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll spread the field with five wide. Blue 14. Blue 14. Number 88 takes the catch. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and ten. They'll bring him down at the 35. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. That's a backward pass. That's a live ball. Using those good hands, he scoops up the fumble. Second down and 17. 
Ball on the 42-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. That'll make it third and 13. Let's go. Check 26, check 26. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. Gain of one yard. That makes it fourth and 12. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes out of the end zone for the touchback. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Makes it to the 34. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's taken down right around the 42 yard line. Fires it out. And he's tackled at the 49. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can ask for much more than that. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of five on the play. That brings up second and five. And he's stopped behind the line. Loss of three on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Caught out in the open. And he's taken down right around the 34. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. Number 10 makes the tackle at the 24-yard line. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. That'll make it third and five. It's the ninth play of the drive. Here we go, here we go. Let's go, Mike 50, Mike 50. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Gain of two yards. That brings They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick is up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Oh, what a hit. The Ducks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. He 
He gets out to about the 25 yard line. Game of two on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Tackle right around the 38 yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. Man left, man left. First down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, come on, Mike, 48. Check three, check three, check three. Catches it, and that's all. With the reception. Number 25 makes the tackle at the 42 yard line. That makes it second and six. He fights forward to about the 43. We played three, and this one's pretty much gone as expected. 20 to 3, Oregon. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Run down in the open field. Number 27 on the tackle at the 49-yard line. That makes it first and 10. I know he ain't got it. Check three, check three, check three. Got a man. Watch out here. And down he goes. Right around the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it third and 11. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Okay, just like that. Just like that. Hey, look 48. Hey, look like 14. Blue 14. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Well, they've got the lead, and they come up with a big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They come out in a five-wide set. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's at the 40. And he is drilled at the 29. They'll get him in the backfield. That's a loss of five yards. That makes it second and 14. From the 34-yard line. Second down. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Ready. Red 18. Let's go. Motion, motion, motion. Jack, Jack. Jack, Jack. Jack. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Knocked out of bounds around the 27-yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Quick throw, and he tackles him hard at the 21. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Just under three to go in regulation.
He gets it up. And they tack on three points. Oregon gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. At the 30. Brought down by the kicker. Washington's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Complete, but out of bounds. Going to lose some ground. It's second down now. 13 to go. Ball on the 42. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 23 is the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Setting up blockers or running backs, got it on the screen. Brought down at the 44 yard line. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. First down. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. Game of six on the clock. That'll bring up second and three. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's level at the 26-yard line. That's a game of 12 on the clock. That makes it first and 10. Just under two minutes in the game. Looks to the back and can't connect. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Here's the eighth play of the series. They come out on an empty backfield. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. that play ever developed nicely well it's all about the receiver on this play he beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route all he had to do after that was make the catch he makes the pat He's tackled at the 43-yard line. The defense was able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. Nice run there. Washington just took their first time out. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. A little over a minute in the game. He'll go Brown. Got the corner. Washington's going to have to use their second time out of the hat. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Makes it out to about the 13. Washington's called their final timeout. First and 10, ball on the 13-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Tins the mic, tins the mic. 
Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up third and ten. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 23-10, Oregon. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? They came out, played an intelligent all-around game, and got the job done. That's about all you can ask for from a team. Oregon earned themselves a quality win. These guys weren't necessarily a pushover, and they played a pretty good game, but the better team won. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nestler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.